Hi there, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and this is the Tech Travel Geeks long-term review of the Google Pixel 5, Google's flagship smartphone of 2020. Both myself, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash, have been using the Google Pixel 5 for over six months. And this is the point we are comfortable doing a long-term review of the device. Overall, some people were slightly disappointed when the Google Pixel 5 was launched. It wasn't a true flagship on paper, but it offered something slightly different and something that we saw quite a tr as a trend in 2020. The not quite flagship smartphone that offered a lot of the same features for a much more affordable price. The Google Pixel 5 doesn't have a curved screen. It doesn't have a shiny glass back. It doesn't have a lot of the number of cameras that a lot of the competition have. What it does have is two very, very good cameras, which we'll go into a bit more detail in a while. But first off, the Google Pixel 5 is a very handleable device. It's relatively small. So it's only a six inch display, and that's a full high definition plus one. Not only that, it's a high refresh rate screen. So the overall experience of using that slightly more handleable six inch screen with minimal bezels is very, very pleasant. That screen has a little cutout at the top left hand corner for the selfie camera. The device is a metal back. That metal is covered by a polycarbonate or plastic which allows it to have a really nice soft feel, whilst having a slightly marbled look, especially in the green back that we have. In the middle of the back, you also have a very nicely placed ergonomic fingerprint scanner. This is my preferred position for a fingerprint scanner. It really naturally is where you would hold the smartphone and where you'd ha hold your finger whilst holding it. So really, really happy about that feature. And then in the top left hand corner, you have a square cutout where, shock horror, there are two cameras. Unlike the Pixel 4 XL last year, the two cameras here are a 12 megapixel main sensor and a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera. The great thing about the Pixel is obviously Google's software. Google's operating system is showcased on Pixel devices and the Google experience is truly fluid, simple and easy to use. As we saw on the Google Pixel 4a last year and on the Google Pixel 5, gesture navigation is the default. So you need to get used to not having the three buttons at the bottom of the screen if you're coming from an older smartphone. But if you really, really want that experience, you can go back to having those three buttons, the back button, the multitasking button, and the home button, as we explained in a recent how-to video we published on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. If you don't already, go and check that one out. In terms of charging, the Google Pixel 5 offers not only USB Type-C fast charging or power delivery at 18 watts, but it also offers wireless charging, which is a bit of a, a confusing thing if you notice the fact that the back is made of metal. That's because Google's engineering, product engineering and industrial design really did a job here of that metal back with plastic coating to be able to enable wireless charging with a metal back. So well done to Google there. I have actually not been using wired charging with the Google Pixel 5 much because I do have a wireless charger next to my bed and that's where, I, where and when I charge my Pixel 5. The Pixel 5 gets me through the day no problem. In some cases where I forgot to put it on charge at night, it's actually got me through two days. But we have been in lockdown for the most of the last six months so there's no surprise there. As well as all the usual connectivity, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and so forth, NFC is available on the Google Pixel 5, so you will be able to use Android Pay as it was intended by Google. But to be honest, the most payments I've been using this for were with the Greg's app for my breakfast in the morning, and that's a QR code solution. Right then, uh, overall, as I said, the Pixel 5 is a great device, but where it does shine, despite not being a flagship phone with an insane number of megapixels is the camera department. That main 12 megapixel sensor at the back is still a quality one, despite being pretty much unchanged compared to previous Pixel devices from recent years. The ultra wide sensor is great to have on a Pixel device, though there is some deformation of the image at the edges. 
So make sure you don't put your girlfriend or better half in the edge of a wide angle picture. I'm speaking from experience, obviously. The other thing that the Pixel shines in is night sight. They're nighttime photography. And I have really, really enjoyed using the Pixel 5 for low light photography. To the point that even in daylight, I use night sight because it's much faster in actually capturing images than it used to be. And it adds extra light and more importantly, more extra detail to the images I do take. For example, with my little black cat, it can pick up a lot of the fur detail that would otherwise be lost. Now, night sight, in my experience, has changed over the last few years. It used to be that it took a long time to actually take the images, and then processing was slightly faster. With the Pixel 5, I've found that to be flipped around. Night sight takes all the pictures at once relatively quickly, similar to what we've seen on Oppo smartphones, and then it takes a while to process them. This might be due to the fact that the Google Pixel 5 is not using a Snapdragon 8 series chipset, rather it's using the Snapdragon 765G 5G chipset. This isn't quite an 8 series flagship chipset, but for most users, it's more than enough. The only times I've had some slowdowns or slightly reduced experience is when taking a rapid succession of pictures in the Google camera app, and then having to wait for the HDR plus or night sight to process. But apart from that, I've had no issues at all with that. It's probably also because this, that Snapdragon 765 chipset is paired with eight gigabytes of RAM. There's no options for less RAM on the Google Pixel 5, and it really does perform very, very well, even with multiple demanding apps open at the same time. I'm looking at you, Microsoft Teams. One of the other advantages of having a Google Pixel device is Google Photos. You will carry on getting free storage of your Google Pixel images on Google Photos going forward, unlike on other smartphones where you will now be using your Google storage and will probably have to pay to use more going forward. So, Google Pixel 5. Great smartphone. We can't really call it a flagship unless you're solely looking at Google's portfolio but it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with devices like the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G, which we've covered here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, as well as the iPhone 12. 2020, especially in the second half, showed us that to have a flagship experience, you don't really need a flagship smartphone anymore. And Google are probably the best at showing that with even less cameras than the competition, but a much better overall experience. I will carry on using the Google Pixel 5, and hopefully later this year when the Google Pixel 6 comes out, we'll be doing some direct comparisons. So, the Google Pixel is not just about the hardware. The overall package is a great smartphone, which is consumer ready. It, this doesn't make as many compromises as Google Pixels did in the past, and really is a great smartphone for everyday use. And that's why I've been using it as my main smartphone for well over six months now. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We tend to film in lovely locations like these, as well as when it's raining indoors. But if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please do subscribe to us. If you enjoyed this video, do drop us a like. And if you'd like to know more or give us some feedback, please do add a comment in the section below. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from us.